Um, so guys, I've just taken a big first step. I have just bought my first house and moved in with my boyfriend. Ooh. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, we're the lucky ones. My nan passed away last Christmas, so... <laughs> Look who's a homeowner. <laughs> it turns out that where there's a will, there is a way. <laughs> right, I just want to point out, OK, right, I wasn't actually involved in the event itself. <laughs> but, like, if you guys do happen to be free for the court case next, next week, then that is exactly the kind of support I'm going to be needing. <laughs> it was about time that we moved in together, though. We've, um, we've been together for about three years now, which is great, um, mostly because I fucking hated dating. Like, I can imagine that if you're wandering around looking like one of those girls off of Love Island or, like, one of these lovely ladies or these lovely ladies then it's probably a lot of fun. But less so when you look like one of the supporting cast from Orange is the New Black. <laughs> but my boyfriend is, um, he's a Romanian gentleman. Um, oh. Racist's corner. Um, <laughs> Look, I know, guys, all right, I know what you're thinking. It's another classic case of an immigrant coming over here and taking on a job that no British man would want. <laughs> but like most people these days, um, we met online on... Um, it was uh, desperatelyseekingpassports.com. <laughs> Look, don't judge me, OK? Don't judge me. You guys can do what you want, but I'm staying in the EU no matter what it takes, okay? <laughs> Just give me a quick cheer. Other than Kevin, Mrs. Kev, who else, who else has done the online dating thing? <laughs> oh. That's the sound of an awful lot of people who have bypassed the... <laughs> Are people weird and hilarious stage of online dating? And have now moved on to the what the fuck is wrong with humanity stage of online dating. Because can we just be honest with ourselves for a second? Like, online dating is it's fucking horrible. It's terrifying. Especially if you're a woman. And especially if you're on Tinder. Because <laughs> I realised quite recently, Tinder is essentially just, um, like, dream phone for sadists. <laughs> Except instead of finding out if the captain of your local football team has a crush on you you get to find out which men in your local area want to do disgusting and degrading things to you. <laughs> and only sometimes will he still play for your local football team. Um, but the, the reason that I ended up stopping using Tinder was, was, like most people, the thing that really got to me was that every so often, you'll just be there, like, happily swiping left and right, and then out of nowhere, your screen will just be filled with an enormous, anonymous cock and balls. <laughs> It's like, it's not even artfully taken. It's just a massive, hairy scrotum. <laughs> but because of the nature of the app, you have to touch it to get rid of it. <laughs> like, how fucking wrong is that? I was talking to a friend of mine about this recently, and she said, um, like, you know, maybe we've just all actually got it wrong. Maybe it's not what we think. Like, maybe it's actually just that the cock has somehow gone rogue. <laughs> Like, the guy himself is actually in a really committed, healthy, loving and fulfilling relationship. And the cock has just somehow, like, gained sentience <laughs> and set up his own profile. He's just there, like, fuck you, Gareth, I'm taking it solo. <laughs> but, um, I digress massively. Uh, back, back to my boyfriend. Um... <laughs> As, you know, this corner can probably imagine, um, I was a little bit worried about introducing him to my family when we first met. Like, don't get me wrong, my parents are very liberal, open-minded people. 
but we do have a problem in my family with what we would call elderly racists. <laughs> Much like the rest of the UK, as it turned out. Although, you know, I've got to be honest, there was one little part of me that was pretty happy about Brexit. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm kidding. He, he still won't fucking marry me. Ha, 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 ha.